Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to find a list of the available volumes on your Mac in Finder. It's a pretty simple process but it can be a great way to see a list of all the devices and the internal drives that you have on your Mac and be able to access them quickly with all their respective files. So let's get straight into it. All right, so all you have to do for this process is make sure that you have Finder open or selected. So we'll just get Finder open here now. And then once you've got Finder open and selected, what you can do is go up to the menu bar and click go, and then go down until you see go to folder. You can click go to folder here, and then you'll see it brings down a pop-up, and I've already got it typed in here because I've done this before, but you go forward slash volumes. You'll see some options come up, but you've got that there. And then we click enter, and you'll see it brings up the volumes that are attached. So I've got Macintosh HD, which is the internal drive on this MacBook. And I've also got my Crucial 2 terabyte and my Samsung T7 Shield as well. You can then open any of these up and then browse the files and folders in there, including for the internal drive, we've got applications, library, macOS system, and users. So there's plenty you can explore and then opening the external drives will just do the same thing as if you open it on the desktop. But sometimes it's a great way to see all your volumes in one place, especially to be able to see the shortcuts to open up the internal volumes because sometimes that can be a bit harder because they don't always show up on the desktop by default. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to seeing all the available volumes on your macOS device. Hopefully this video was helpful and it's helped to speed up your workflow in being able to find specific files, especially if you are looking for those internal drives, but it's great for all drives as well, including the external devices as well. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any other video suggestions you have for me because I'm more than happy to make those if you'd like to see them. And with that, thanks for watching this video on Unpacked Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.